Good afternoon, everybody. Welcome to Indigo Tarot Odyssey. Welcome, welcome. I hope you guys all had a good restful weekend and it's a lovely Monday and we're going to all get cheered up and brought up and raise our vibrations and our energies with some great new topics. Ian is the new um, general fact finder and topic extraordinaire. So our new one we came up with is what is blocking me from my true love my true life path, financials, whatever. We're going to consult the cards. We're going to do a three card spread and consult the cards. I've been doing over the last 24 hours a lot of um, research over YouTube and other places about manifesting, making things come to fruition, being successful, and trying some of these strategies and they work. So the, here's something I'm going to decide to do too, and I want to do it very inexpensively for you guys. I just thought of this. I'm going to do a, um, a tarot read along with like it's like a miniature hypnosis of removing blockages of manifestations because all it is is implants in our subconscious that makes us think we cannot do these things. Now there's sometimes learned behaviors as children. Our parents say, don't do that. You're not allowed to do that. Only smart, wealthy um, French people can do that. Whatever. You know what I mean? It's conditioning. And what happens, that constant stream of information and conditioning is creating blockages unfortunately so i'm going to do a cool thing i'm going to do it pretty inexpensively too i think for like 33 dollars i'm going to do a 20 minute video that is basically a mini hypnosis and it's going to deprogram your subconscious of this by replanting positive affirmations over and over in a very restful hypnotic state I listened to Jake Ducey do something very similar and I had an idea to how to do this and I know some people respond to certain voices and I get a very positive response from quite a few of you saying that you find my tone and my delivery very restful and that's what we need to reprogram our subconscious to let us know our abilities are infinite we simply have to remove those stupid ones in there that were put there by teachers by whomever professors whatever that was misinformation that put barriers on our expansion you know what i mean everything is already available to us everything is already there it already exists all we have to do is reach out and claim it that is all so in this lovely little mini hypnosis relaxation i just call it resting space absorption clearance and reprogramming all it is I just want you to know that everything is possible it is I tried these practices today with myself and almost exactly what I wanted to happen verbatim happened and when I got in my car I asked I said please guides and angels it's very rainy I feel like there are people that are not paying attention today please help me be aware um, I actually was rescued from two very close call accidents a head-on collision and then also two cars collided on the road for me to go get my son and they had blocked it with a fire engine and, and a um, and a, um, it's like a, the thing that tows and tow trucks, everything. It just created an alarming, disturbing um, frenzy of driving. And again, I was aware my, my higher self and my guides listening to them was like quickly just turn right. And I pulled into this bank and then I saw it was happening and people were just piling up and colliding. It was insane. So again, this is, I, I want to be able to do this for you guys. I'm going to actually make this tape today so it's available and it's just going to have soothing background and my voice reprogramming those unfortunate subliminal messages that are telling you can't do things when you can. So this again is going to be what is, what is blocking you from love, anything financials. We're going to find out right now in this card spread because I'm interested as well. And we're going to do it very clearly so people can see, um, what cards are what Ian does this great graphic underneath it helps us do it so anyway on a lighter note I hope you're all doing well and I watched a bit of comedy before too to simmer down because I had a lot of instago clients this morning wanting some answers and they were very pleased um the path their lives are now taking because again I use those mini programming deprogramming things to find out and fight those subliminal problems and blockages that are created I hate it but you know we are told as child to limit your behavior we're told to sit down simmer down calm down everything's down right or up shut up sit up all those things they're in our head we don't even realize it until we're like whoa why did I even behave that way when um, I didn't even put any thought or effort. Again, it's pre-programming and we want to we want to take out all the negatives in that program and it's so simple. It's so, so simple. So this is how we're going to number this. We're going to have star, 
starfish spirit be under number one again look at that open it to infinite possibilities this entire read is going to focus on you watch this energy is guiding me and just tooling along with me today i feel it it's it's like a, my streaming consciousness is just wide open right now through these practices these ideas are coming to me i feel uber creative i went to my um, bead store and got my special beads to create these jewelry. I'm going to be doing these healing bracelets with onyx, carnelians, all these stones that generate love and energy. And I'm so excited to do this. And once creativity starts flowing in you, in us, in all of us, in our interconnectedness, you won't believe the progress you make. I swear it's insane. And again, horse spirit, freedom is yours. Freedom from those old boundaries and restrictions that were just put there. They're like little implants. It's like the Borg. You're part of the consciousness there where you have to behave a certain way. And remember yesterday I shared that little story, hey, sweetie, about going to the store and, and being afraid that everybody was like crazy rich robots in this town and nobody looked up and smiled and nobody said hello. And the teenagers even looked scared like they were going to yell, be yelled at by all the tight, tight, faced people it was very frightening and i was singing i said screw this i started singing pushing my car up and down the aisle i was singing like for whatever reason rock the pony by billy idol was in my hand i was like rock the pony and the teenagers i could see them trying not to laugh at their registers and then the old people just looked hor horrified that there was any originality or um life in anyone in this town it was so frightening everybody had the same cars it was absurd badger spirit be fearless and bold that's me. I almost feel challenged when I go out into like I just call one dimensional towns where people are so uptight and their sticks are so far up their butts they can hardly walk. I'm like, that's it. And I was like dressed in all this finery because I was making tapes. So I was literally wearing velvet head to toe and I was just like ridiculous. I was ridiculous. And it was fun because if I find I find um, the beiges, as I call them, people are just interested in money and their image because they all look the same, they act the same. They, again, they're pre-programmed by generations of you've seen the like the old Southern ladies, right? And you better you better never cause a scene, Shannon. You better behave, Shannon. Martha, you sit down, and you're gonna look a fool, and you're gonna make your mama look silly. All that sort of thing. That's what this town w is like, but it's ridiculous, and it's the wealthiest town per capita in the USA. It's my next town and the people scare me I try to avoid that town I used to work in that town and you know the movie stars would come in and all this and that and they everybody's so self-absorbed that it was like a cinematic play to me but it was disturbing nonetheless and thank God I just said oh this is no longer for me I need to be with my people in my realm and telling beautiful stories and giving everybody hope and letting them know that they are angelically guided they are protected they are immense intense and the best and you guys are you're my favorite favorites i'm so excited to do this video later that's just going to deprogram all the garbage and it's so simple and it just came to me and i got all tingling and i was hot and i was like i knew it and i was like oh man but again we're all batteries that recharge each other in a certain way jake was my catalyst to reform my information to simplify it because he's very hawaiian and, and laid back and chill and he knows how to do it i'm very new englander you know what i mean and those people can be um Restricted again. I had to unprogram myself. Although I was lucky, I was brought up. I was brought up with a bunch of writers, geniuses, hippies, free love, smart Scandinavian, Irish, cool blend with mus musical families. All these things that had supported me in any kind of journey that I decided to take. But a lot of people don't have that. That's why we got to have this um, reprogramming show for sure okay so what are our blockages we got number one is right here is going to be the starfish yay open to infinite possibilities number two is the horse spirit freedom is yours number three is the badger be be fearless and bold absolutely okay so we're going to start with one which is the starfish and I'm going to be really clear and concise because some people really like to focus on their read and a lot of you a great deal of you watch all of them which I really appreciate so number one we're beginning with okay knight of swords so this is what blockages do i have and then i'm going to do a card on how to clear them okay this particular group you have some social blockages i feel right here too you have social blockages you're in your head a lot and you're a little awkward you don't like crowds a good deal of you you feel like you have to sort of come up with the answers. If you know, if you feel like you have to come up with the answers, be witty, be people pleasing, be festive, and you're not in the mood, it's um, difficult for you, and you find it a drain. You know, you'd rather be home and be relaxing. Now, here's a bit of news I learned today too. 
Never say yes when you mean no. Never say yes when you mean no. It gives away a little part of your energy when you have to go someplace, when people are like, can you want to come out for drinks after work? And all you want to do is go home and journal and read and relax and watch YouTube videos, learn things, be with your pets. Don't say yes when you don't want to say yes. You're not obligated to people please or be there as an extra number for somebody. Oh, well, there was, there, well, there's, if there's five of us, it'll be cooler. You know what I mean? You're not there to make up any odds and numbers. You are, you should only go and be with people, places, and things that you are attracted to are going to raise your energy and your vibration. If you're tired, bow out. Never ever. People respect, they really do respect you more when you can say no respectfully. You know what I mean? I'm sorry, I don't have the energy for that tonight. Perhaps another time. It's that easy. Be graceful and um, sincere about it. But absolutely, don't say yes ever for the fact of saying yes. I am guilty of that in the past. Whenever anybody needed a a ride home. I worked with lots of people all over the place that didn't have cars. And there was this one woman, I literally would go in almost an extra hour out of my way to drive her home. And it was, and, and it was sort of out of guilt. I'm like, I see how hard she works, but I'm like, you know what? You work just as hard as she is in the same company. Um, she can take that bus so you don't have to go drive an hour and there would be roadworks and all this stuff. And I would be tired and then I wouldn't be able to spend time with my family because I was doing this. I realized that one day I had an aha moment. I said, you know what? You're saying yes when you mean no. That diminishes your energy. That diminishes what's more important, your priorities or hers. You know what I mean? So do not say yes when you don't want to. Your boundaries, your time. Absolutely. And I'm saying this emphatically like a mother, right? I'm like, no, no, no. 100% set those firm boundaries you need to be you where and when you want to be that's part of your blockage I feel like a lot of you you have not guilt or anything like that but you do you do have a big heart and you want to do things that are nice and you feel like um, if you provide the service and or whatever time for people that no my cat's attacking my beads that you'll be um, of course you're karmically rewarded but you're also energetically drained you know the world already knows you're a good person you don't have to give the energy you don't have to spare to to be a good person that's that's another thing you had to relearn that that was a blockage for you i feel as well and i feel too you overthink things here when we have the five of swords five is usually a conflict card where you um you give yourself too much choice even the cat says yes i'm going to stretch across that you give yourself too many choices in your head like you overwhelm yourself when you go out to eat um menus things like that you're like you have fear of missing out you know that fear of missing out on the bigger better deal thing and um, you're not going to a choice is a choice if you decide I'm making the best choice and then you live with it you relish it and you go from there then then it is the right choice it always is all a matter of perspective okay and so how we clear that blockage is the electric eel spirit you're bringing your ideas to life. I feel like a lot of you have creativity. However, I feel like it is a bit suppressed because you're getting lost in everyday life. And time, look at the kitty, look at the doo, 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 doo. Yeah, you know, you're nine to five. You get tired, you come home, you get sucked into Netflix, whatever. You want to relax, right? But there's a creative edge to you. I feel like there's a song in you, a book in you. Um, there's crafting, there's knitting. I feel like a lot of you would be fantastic at needlepoint. I feel like a lot of you are excellent knitters. Um, And I feel like a lot of you have a gift with words, like a poetic, um, beautiful nature to you. And that's another thing. Keep a notebook and paper by your bed. That's another way to manifest continually. Look at the cat. She's like, yes, you can. I'm so happy she came and joined us. Okay, so that creative outlet, that is going to help you clear those blocks. Again, remember, never say yes when you need no. Save your energy. You are the one that's accountable for your time. You are your own boss, your own, your own director of your film. You don't need to give that energy away, okay? Don't diminish your time as being less value as anybody else's. Fantastic. So that's you guys. Don't forget to press like and press subscribe and the bell right there so all the notifications will come up. Thank you. Thank you. All my um, links are below if you need any further assistance or you need any private reads. I'm also on Instago. Thank you all you, you Instago um, followers and people that have been getting reads through that. It's being very successful. I really love it. It's a, it's a great thing. You come on, you can get a quick one card answer. Fantastic. I love it. Especially now in the time where all this love is blossoming and people are like, well, what am I, what, what am, you know, they just need a little help navigating their ship. It's some things are so simple for others to see when, when it's yourself and your emotions, it's not as easy for sure. So that was number one. We are now on number two. Okay. We are now on the horse card. Woo.
which I love. Look at that. Oh, horse spirit. Freedom is yours. So beautiful. Okay. I already know what that blockage is. I can see it right away. Yes. Very nice. Okay. Okay, the blockage in this group. Okay, I have some, some very clear pictures of this. Your blockage, of course, is past heartache. Now, what happens with that? It's like what I was speaking of in the beginning. Um, we condition ourselves through our subconscious. We tell ourselves, I'm not worthy of love. This is going to turn out bad. This person is going to be just like John, just like Joseph, just like Emily, just like Mark. You know what I mean? And you start to all of a sudden implant this idea in your head of failure before this relationship ever, even begins. You're putting a non-success stamp on it before it even gets off the ground because again, you're creating barriers of freedom, of newness, of a cleansed palette, as it were, for your new relationship. You're dragging in those old ideas of failure and creating lack consciousness as well as an unsuccessful path because something has happened in the back that has injured your heart. So you are, you are in that mindset. You don't even know you're doing it. It just pops up like, oh no, oh no. Now what fear, fear has an intense reaction in your body. You can sweat. It restricts thoughts. You're your brain releases cortisol. That actually creates stomach fat as well. It's a kind of internal drug that you do not want switched on. It's the fight or flight thing. Cortisol is horrible to be cursing through your system. It actually restricts the free flow of um, your your oxygen, your blood, your, your streamlined thoughts, your stream of consciousness. It's like... Um, let that electrical short circuit that happens, you know what I mean? So you never want doubt and fear to come in when you're on a daily basis. What the hell is that? You're just free flowing consciousness and energy. Why would you glitch it up for no reason or pull in something bad or stick your um, knife in the toaster on purpose, right? Only people that like pain do that, right? And I'm sure you don't like pain. I don't. That's why I don't do that anymore. I don't allow negativity to come in. Even if I see like that ridiculous car pile up today that I saw, I was like, I simply have to go right and I go around it. But I, then I saw people absolutely panic, drive faster, create more of a havoc because it's ingrained in their subconscious. Hey, ooh, bad equals more, bad equals more bad. No, bad equals avoid the hell out of it and go right. You know what I mean? Very simple. And because of this, you're starting to learn it just by listening to this right now because you're going to receive offers. This has to do with love. Again, this is a love offer and this is beautiful to have two of cups in the center of this means that the new approaching love that's coming to you, you're now aware of this. You're aware that there are patterns that have been set. You're aware that your subconscious behaves in a certain um, saboteur way when you inflict these old ideas and conditionings on yourself, right? So now you just disallow it. As soon as it tries to come in, you go, nope, you're not allowed here anymore. There is no space for that. That did not create a successful endeavor last time. So how about we close the door on that? Slam, nobody gets through. No, no negativity gets through there at all. You now know how to receive offers gracefully. And again, like I said to the first group, we never say yes when we mean no. When we say yes to an invitation somewhere, to a party, to anywhere that we don't want to go because we're tired, we'd rather journal, we'd rather read, we'd rather be with our families, we'd rather not give this person a ride home because they're trying to guilt us into it. Um, like I said before, I would give somebody rides home after work and it'd take me way out of my way. And it took me a while to realize, why am I doing this? This is my time is much more valuable myself than their time. However, I'm saying theirs is more valuable by me giving them a ride across town. And then I stopped it. I was like, yeah, we don't do that anymore because I would rather be with my family, be in my home. You know what I mean? And that's what you're realizing too. So when someone comes in with an offer, you cleared all the yeses away with no's when it's not as important. So now you have the free time to do exactly what you want and be discerning and let in who you want, which is a way better offer. And this is how you do it. You're look you're peacefully looking out into the horizon and you are recreating your reality the way you want it, which is saying yes to only the things that are important to you, only allowing people places and things in your life that serve your higher purpose and help you, like this kitty cat, and things like that. You're only putting material in your head that that positively affirm 
what you want out of life. You're not watching dreadful things on the news that fill you with dread and fear and again create cortisol and all these other problems in your body. And, and there's so many studies that say when people watch this and they get anxiety, they tend to eat junk food, salt food, sugar. It's, it's a, like it's a, just a strange natural reaction and it's weird. Harm begets harm. It's very bizarre. But when you're watching a beautiful nature program, right, you're happy to just drink your water and absorb that beauty in its natural state, right? That's what's helping you. So let's see also what's going on for this. The elephant learned from the past. Exactly. You realized that this stinking thinking that, oh, a disaster was going to happen and a broken heart was going to happen could actually make it happen, right? And that you were repeating these patterns. But then when you cover that up with, no, I'm only going to receive good messages from my subconscious, good messages from my brain. Those are the ones I listen to. I'm important, I'm valuable, I'm lovable. That's your new message. That's what you're understanding. That's that blockage cleared. Good job. Okay, you guys, so don't forget to like and press subscribe. Also the bell so you can get the new ding a ling a lings when my videos come up because it's all going to be just about you know, soul searching, uplifting, getting those answers, pulling that love to you, pulling that soulmate seeking out that crush, finding that crush, these beautiful people out there, places, things, our creativity. We are just energy that is expanding and we are doing it in the right direction at the right time and helping one another and it is fantastic. So all my links are also below if you need any personal reads and my um, link to Instago too, that's doing really great. I want to thank all you Instago people and for your nice messages and how much you enjoy the nice quick reads that we do there. Yeah, it's fantastic. It's a lot of fun. So we're going to go on to number three now. Okay, Badger Spirit is be fearless and be bold. Because the only thing that stops us is fear. And again, fear is a complete waste of time in pursuing your goals. Why wouldn't you just go in a straight beeline to get what you want when it's already there? That are, it already exists. That money is already there. It's in circulation. Those beautiful houses are right there. That sea view is always right there. Your family is right there to spend time with you. All those things, your pet's there for petting. All these things are there. You are creating your reality now. So do it the right way and deprogram all these things. And look what's going to help you. Strength. You're realizing this video alone, along with the other ones you're going to be watching and learning about, is going to give you the courage of your conviction to go out and get what you want and be fearless in this world because you have nothing to lose. The only time you have something to lose is when you lead a fear-based life and you hide from yourself, your true potential, and those people that are trying to find you, love you, care for you, spend time with you, and help you be your best creative awesome self, right? For sure. And this was your blockage. You overthink it all. This is the up all night card. This is the stress card. This is the what if card. What if they don't love me? What if they leave me? What if they abandon me? What if I'm not successful at this? What if I don't have enough money? What if, um, what if my kids are always fighting? What if somebody embarrasses me? What if it's all these things? What if, what if, what if it's the biggest Debbie Downer card of all, because your head can talk you into anything. If we are our thoughts, do we really want our thoughts to be, we are a failure? No, we want our thoughts to be, I am a winner, winner, chicken dinner. Anything is possible. I am infinite energy. I am a stream of consciousness. I'm pulling all the goodness out of the stream of consciousness to live light, listen to my guides, listen to my mentors, listen to people that bring me up the right information, the sound information, the stuff that is going to engage my heart, brain, and soul to get to my goal I want to get to as a strong person who knows their worth it and their time is valuable. And this and this is part of it. You're going to be listening to all the high priestesses. Anybody out there with the information and knowledge that helps to elevate you to your next level, gives you those building blocks, gives you that help, gives you that hope. You are also this person. Your mind is this person when you decide your mind is this person by doing this. This is an entity that says there is magic out there. There are guides. There are stars. There are visuals that help you. There are thoughts that elevate you. There is a stream of consciousness that is beautiful, strong, and it has arrived, and all you have to do is tap into it. Put that into your head. That's part of the tape that I'm going to be doing that just plays that over and over. It reprograms that terrible subconscious that says, that's impossible. Nothing is impossible. Everything is possible. And if you say that over and over, your belief knows it. It becomes an actuality. It becomes the energy that now is. It is now your stream of thought and how you think of things. That you are capable, strong, beautiful, worthy of everything good. Yeah, I'm stoked. Now I'm sweating the cow spirit. Look, the miracles are endless. I knew all these cards were going to come up right after these because it's just reaffirming everything that I've been hearing over and over and over. And while I was waiting for my son to get out of school in the car, 
I was listening to all your comments and stuff going, oh my God, Melanie, I'm manifesting this. My energy, I, I listened to this. I understood this. It was a very simple form. I'm now doing this and I can't believe it. Now I, I realize that it's always been there, that everything always already is, which is such a crazy, simple thing, right? Sometimes it's the simple things that escape us, that the miracles are all around this interconnectedness. Everybody is reading, like, I remember being all stoked because I was saying how Doreen, um, uh, has her, or sorry, Colette Baron Reed has her beautiful house in Hawaii, and then it was weird that Jake Ducey's house was in Hawaii, and Oprah likes to do her farming there, and all these things. And somebody saw two cars right in a row with Hawaiian license plates, one of the commenters, and people's minds are being blown because of the interconnectedness, interconnectedness and energy that is guiding us. So it's super powerful, and know that. Look at this, that's you. That's, uh, that's you taking knowledge that you hear that you know is true and implementing it. That's all that is. And then that energy being conducive to a higher, brighter vibration that then ushers in all the things that you want to manifest. So that's you guys. Don't forget to like and press subscribe. we got a lot of fantastic, uplifting things coming. All my links are below if you guys need a private read. And Instago is on there too. Thanks to all my Instago followers and people that I've read for. I really appreciate your feedback. It's been awesome. Okay, you guys, peace out.